Another application of bill of material other than defining the product is uh, to manage the chain process, engineering change management. So there are different components of product structure as we discussed more important are bill of material and routings. So these can be used to, to manage the engineering change. So we'll, we'll uh, carry on with the same example, but first we will discuss what could be the reasons of change to product structure. So that is the basic question, why actually the product structure should change or it could change. So one of the reasons could be the result of R&D, the organization is constantly looking for new materials or processes or technology. So it could opt for new materials or processes. So uh, the older material processes or the components could, uh, could, could be changed with the new ones. So that could be one of the reasons for the definition, uh, reason for the change of product definition or product structure. Other reason could be customer desire. Customer requires a certain new feature or new material or new characteristics of the product. So that could change the definition of product structure. Cost reduction or ease of manufacture could be a reason. So we might be again, um, be pushed to go for the better product structure. Again, it could be better material, better process or elimination of certain components or elimination of certain features. Quality problems could be there. The previous product might have quality problems in order to eliminate those problems. We might be changing the or the features of the product. It could be phase out of an obsolete part and phase in of a new one. So generally, a, the product have a certain life cycle. So same is true for the components. So at the end of the product life, we, we introduce similar new products or variants of the older products. So that could change the definition of the product or structure of the product, or it could be government regulation or regulations of other regulatory bodies as well. So because of different reasons, some components, some features, some aesthetics, some processes could change. So we have to redefine the product. How does bill of material help us? So an excellent way to manage engineering changes is through the use of effectivity dating. So that is an important uh, practice to be used. So this process involves attaching phase in and phase out date. So uh, this date is assigned to bill of material items, processes and documentation. So when the date arrives for phase out for the product structure element, the activity date assigned to it is no longer valid for production. So on the other hand, when the date for effectivity of a phase in arrives, the change to the product structure becomes active. So here is a very simple example of the same product of a pump. And here we are talking about the impeller. We had four options for the impeller. It could be a plastic impeller, copper, stainless steel, or simple steel. Now the copper material that was being used was having the code of 200. So this was phased in on 1st January 2008. So before that, of course, you were either not using the copper impeller or some other variant was being used before 1st January 2008. And now on the 30th June 2011, this case is the last date to use this uh, copper impeller 200 and a new variant. This is a copper, but a better grade of copper that will be effective from 1st July 2011. So you could see that we have assigned a new code because this is a new component. It is a copper impeller, but a different grade of copper. So the date of phase out for 200 copper impeller is 1st July 2011 and same is the date 
or phase in for 201 copper impurity. So we can keep a record of phase in date of each of the component so that we can track when a certain component was introduced and when it was abandoned. So the current copper impeller part number 200 has been selected. The current copper impeller part 200 has been selected for phase out on July 1 due to change in suppliers. Purchasing has selected a new supplier and wants to have a replacement for the current part phased in on July 1. Using current bill of material computer functionality, the new part that is number 201 is added to the product structure with a phase in date of July 1st. Note that July 1st would then be the phase out date for number 200. So the result would be that all orders requiring the copper impeller option would receive part number 201 from, from July 1. So this is how the bill of material can be used for engineering change management. 